The Titanic sank because of a toilet. Here's the bathroom mistake that killed 1,500 people. 1912, Titanic's designers faced a significant problem where to strategically place 2,000 toilets on the colossal, unsinkable ship. To maximize passenger space on the upper decks, they made a critical decision to install crew bathrooms primarily in the ship's lower levels. April 14, 1140 p.m. The Titanic tragically struck an iceberg, initiating a catastrophic influx of water into the vessel. What often goes untold is that these lower deck crew toilets inadvertently created additional weak points within the ship's hull structure. As the ship took on water, it didn't just flood through the main breach. Water rushed through toilet drains and pipe systems, accelerating the inundation of compartments. This rapid flooding of crew quarters meant many crew members were unable to reach their emergency stations, hindering crucial coordination efforts. The lack of organized crew coordination directly contributed to a slower and less efficient evacuation process for all on board. Had the crew toilets been situated on higher decks, the evacuation could have been significantly faster and far more organized. This seemingly minor design choice ultimately had profound consequences, meaning hundreds more lives could have potentially been saved.